it doesn't sound good. <laughs> I'm sorry. Look, I don't, I really don't mean to offend anybody. And I really hope, I really hope that just because I have a very negative uh, take on something doesn't mean that a company necessarily wants to avoid talking and or working with me in the future. Although I can imagine that that's going to be the case. But you know what? I'm at this point where I just kind of have a I don't care anymore kind of feel towards tiptoeing around anything. I mean, I was always trying to be honest, but I I usually try to be fairly diplomatic. And I'm going to be a li- I'm still going to be a little diplomatic. I don't want to be a jerk, but I'm going to be much more blunt and and I'm going to reveal my true feelings much more openly now as I'm not just going to type in the comments on my Google Sheet rankings document, although you could find the link in the description to see a lot more critical commentary of a lot of gear there. If you're curious, please check it out. Um, but I'm, I'm getting in a groove now where I can le- release a lot more reviews to my channel where people can hear my commentary and see me demonstrate what I mean exactly when I am critical. And so I'm going to I'm going to be a lot less diplomatic publicly now um, on my channel. And this is one of the honestly, uh, unfortunately, one of my first victims. The Kiwi Ears melody is just it's unnatural in the upper end timbre. I'm sorry to whoever tuned it. I really am. But I, I got to be honest. I just don't get it. It sounds funky to me. It sounds like things are splashing in a way that sound uh, unwelcome, just very unwelcome. It sounds very thin. On the upper end, there's not enough upper mids or or mid bass or something to balance out the headspace to give comfort, to give warmth, to give weight. It's just this weightless. It has a little bit of weight, but it's not enough. Or or the upper end needs to be retuned, retweaked somewhere. Something is funky, and I've had that experience a little bit with some other Kiwi Ears products. Check my commentary in my Google Sheet for that. Um, but I think the MP145 is a clear, and that's why I'm featuring it here, a clear um, step up in what people should be considering buying. Um, I, I don't really, I don't want to have anybody waste any money or time dabbling in things um, unnecessarily uh, when something else competes for the similar price and a similar kind of excitement. Now, truth be told, the MP145 is not exactly the same milieu of flavor okay as the as the kiwi ears melody the kiwi ears melody is definitely trying to go for this kind of like very crystal clear affect which it has a little bit of that strength i do kind of for a moment kind of feel like yeah okay there's something really like a wow factor almost it's very open sounding it's very kind of like crystal clear and separated sort of but it comes with such a funk i can't i can't it just sounds too unnatural things splash weird and i think we're going to hear that more in the next track i want you to hear especially closely to the symbols coming up okay the hi-hat symbols whatever of the drum kit um yeah um and i want you to hear the male vocals on how the mp145 really expresses the male vocals with more weight and more impact that we really kind of want out of them um, I'm also going to inject a little bit of S12 Pro because I think the uh, Let's Sure S12 Pro is a little bit more closely related to the flavor profile of the Kiwi Ears Melody. So we're going to start putting that in. Uh, I don't, and this is going to be a very short video. <laughs> I'm sorry, Kiwi Ears. I'm sorry. If you want to reach out and try to get some ideas for how to tweak things, you probably won't after this. But that's that's my opinion. I'm sorry. Enjoy, guys. Sometimes I feel like I don't have a partner Sometimes I feel like my only friend Is the city I live in The city of angels Lonely as I am Together we cry streets cause she's my companion I walk through the hills cause she knows who I am she sees my good deeds and she kisses me windy and I never worry now that is a lie I don't ever want
So how do those symbols sound? Is anybody, come on. I Look, I haven't looked at anybody's reviews especially. I might have glanced at a headline. I really try to avoid seeing what other reviewers say because I like to have my own opinion free of biases and whatever. Like if somebody says they like something, I want to go like, la, 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 I don't hear you. I don't know what, I don't know who likes what. I'm going to see if I like it first. But I did happen to glance at a headline somewhere where I thought there was this, I don't know for sure, okay, because I really, as soon as I saw it, I averted my eyes. <laughs> but I thought I saw something, I'm not going to name names, um, that I thought implied that this would be a competitor um, in the new like planar um, game of, of IMs. And I just, I can hear where there's excitement. I can hear that clarity, but I just don't appreciate the funk at all. And the symbols are so representative of what I'm trying to talk about. Um, and, and if you can't get your symbols right in a drum kit, it's kind of a non-starter. There's too many tracks and too many, too much rock tracks, too many things that have drums, period, in, in the mix where symbols are used. <laughs> that if the symbols are splashing in this like unnatural, kind of funky, um, unwelcome way that just bothers you or steals your attention in the wrong way, then it's a non starter. It's a non starter. So I can't, this is like essentially my conclusion already. If you want to go for bright, if you want to go for that um, very leaner, separated, clear, clear signature, I don't think the Kiwi Ears melody is a solution for that. I think we're better off um, exploring previously known options. Uh, like the S12 Pro is one of my top picks for that. Well, because it still at least puts in some kind of mellowness to the flavor profile. It's not as thin as like the Dioko might be, although some people like the Dioko. Um, so really today you're just going to see a couple of these samples compared to the melody to show you where exactly triangulating our position in terms of purchasing decisions like where your nearby neighbors are you can go for the mp145 and get something that has a little bit more note weight a little bit more thickness um, to complement its upper end um sparkle uh or you can go for the s12 pro and go for something that really pushes the upper end um in that ultra sparkly way but with just a tack a tad bit of mellowing but if you go for the melody i don't know exactly what you're gonna go for here um unless you, maybe you're an insane tip, tip roller and you know that just the right tip to make it just correct that funk and dampen it but like look i'm not in the business of trying to tip roll and tell you what third party thing you need to put on to what was shipped to you to make it sound good that's not right okay Look, I mean, we can tip roll and we can have fun tip rolling. If you have tip, I'm not judging you if you tip roll, but what I'm saying is the the manufacturer should provide the best tips possible for what they expect to be part of the experience because tips change the tuning. And so do nozzles and everything and filters and all that stuff. So if something is, somebody's going to say, well, it works well with these tips, which I'm sure somebody's going to say it out there. Um, well, then they should have shipped it with that. Plain and simple. And for the melody, I tried both tips that they shipped with, okay? There's a dark black one, and then there's like a, a, a gray tip. I tried both, and none, neither got rid of the funk. I, did, I do think I preferred the gray tips, incidentally, a little bit more. I can't remember exactly why, but that was my immediate impression. But it was, it, it was a moot point. They both kind of stunk. And I'm sorry. Again, Kiwi ears, I'm sorry. But I'm going to be honest, okay? All right, guys, there's really not much more to say. I would stay away from these personally if you have any tastes that are similar to mine or if you trust my demos to any extent. It's not going to be a severely different experience in real life, okay? Maybe the if you think the funk will be a little different in your ears, possibly people have different ear gains up in the treble region, so I don't know for sure how it's going to sound for everybody. I don't. I don't want to presume, okay? If a reviewer says that they really like it and you follow that reviewer and you have tastes that align with them, then go for it. But I don't get it. I, I just don't get it. If you want to listen to more, please open the full demo that's going to be uploaded soon. Compare it to the other gear at your choosing and make your own decision. Peace out. It's been lovely. Oh, if you want to support me, I should have said this at the start of the video. Please support me on Patreon. It means so much, I'm, especially as I burn so many bridges with this honest commentary. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get a collaboration. I don't know if anything successful economically is going to happen for me out of this channel anymore. If you want to support me and keep going with this stuff, please go to Patreon, support me. Have a good day.
去。